me, queen? Did you miss me? Because I miss you. <laughs> so, here's another video for the week. Another fitness video. Today, what we are going to talk about are wearing the proper shoes for what you plan to do in your workout. That is so important. Your feet, period, are important, okay? You're always on your feet, you always gonna need your feet, okay? You always gonna need your feet. If you need to walk around, you're gonna need your feet. So, you need to have the proper support on your feet, okay? There are different there are shoes that are made for different things. Of course, you see there's running shoes, which, I guess that should grab some shoes, shouldn't I? Uno momento. <laughs> I feel like I was doing the don't rush challenge with that one. So I didn't I only grab two pairs. So these are my new Nikes that I actually bought from uh Playlist Closet. They're lightly used for like 10 bucks. <laughs> they're not even they're not even that. So <laughs> yeah, they're like 10 bucks. So these are more so my I kind of like using, these are my underarm shoes. You know, they're running shoes. You know, they have that good support. Um, I know when, I know they say when you're weightlifting, you want to use shoes that are flatter. Um, a lot of guys I know use chucks because that's more support. Um, I think I've seen someone use like Vans or they look like Vans. It gives you more support because they're flatter. Uh, Puma. I heard Puma is good running running shoes. The Pumas I have, they're a little more flat, I want to say, than the running shoes. But I use Pumas as well. I don't stick to one brand. I stick to what I like, what's versatile with my workout clothes. Um, always have a gray pair. Always have a black pair. I have a black pair of Nikes. Uh, these are black as well. But, honey, and to you don't have to even spend a lot on shoes, okay? Like I said, I got these from Plato's Closet. When I tell you, I find a lot of my shoes, like these Under Armour shoes and my Nikes, I get them from Ross, okay? So when Nike sells them for a 60 to a 60 up, 50 up, I go to Ross and I get them for 30 bucks, half, half the price, brand new. Uh, they have cleats at Ross also. Ross, Marshall, TJ Maxx, you guys can find anything. You can find a cut corner to anything. eBay, sometimes they, they um sell them on there. They, they're new or only used once. And they're not, oh, the expensive. Poshmark, another place to go that sells uh, shoes. The thrift store. There's a, where there's a will, there's a way. Okay? There, there's, a, there's a will, there's a way. And there's no problem starting off with one pair of shoes. Because I started off with one pair of shoes and then I was like, oh, those are cute. Oh, I need a pink pair. I have a lot of different shoes. When they are run down, though, please retire your shoes. You do not want to keep on working out with worn down shoes because the support is not the same and you're hurting your feet. Okay, you're hurting, you're hurting your feet. You have to retire them after a while. When they're run down, falling apart, throw those away, sis. Throw them away using the gardening shoes, something like that, but do not work out in them. Don't work out in them. Protect your feet, because you need them. You need them, okay? So, also the Nike Run app, you just heard my cat, I'm um, shaking. <laughs> the Nike Run app, they have a feature where when you buy Nike, you log in the pair that, that you bought when you bought it, and if I'm not mistaken, I haven't used it, but if I'm not mistaken, it tells you when you need to retire them, when they're done, like when you need to let them go. And I think I, I haven't used the feature, but I think you log in the shoe that you're running in when you're running. So then it calculates the miles and how, and how long you can use them and when you need to get new shoes. So if you want to use that feature, then use it. I would suggest having multiple pairs of shoes or at least having 
okay, these shoes I run in, these shoes I'm gonna lift in, or having a shoe that's versatile, where you can do both. Um, but there's nothing wrong with, like I said, having that first pair of shoes because when you're starting out, you only need one pair. You don't need 5,000 pairs. You don't need a pair for every outfit. Like I said, the gym is not about looking cute. I mean, it's fun to look cute. I love to look cute all the time, but I'm not really in the gym looking to see who's cute in there, who has the cute outfit on. If you're there for that, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not there for that or any of those conversations, really. I'm open for them, you know. Hey, that's a cute outfit. Where'd you get it from? Oh, I got it from so so You know, but I'm not, you know, that's always cool to connect with someone like that, but you're not there for that. You're there to work out. You're there to get that sweat in, get that work in, go home, eat right, get some rest, start over again. That's what you're there for. So make sure you get good shoes. Whether you invest in those shoes, get just get a good pair of shoes that support your feet and that will help you get to where you need to go as far as your goals. You can do it. You can do it. Comment below what brand of shoes you like to wear or where you have found good workout shoes from. Because we always want new information we always want to see i'm always looking for new information about clothes that i can work out in or shoes i can work out in just new information i don't know everything you don't know everything teach me i teach you as much as i can as much as i know so comment below and also comment videos that you want me to start filming whether it's fitness or anything else just let me know always i'm always open for suggestions just let me know let me know i'm about to go listen to that song right now <laughs> see you guys later